Stan, thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the kind of this. It's very uh, pleasant to be here. Uh, so my talk will be about uh, interacting particle systems and uh, particular property of uh, the systems, uh, which I will refer to as color position symmetry, and interacting particle systems so will be TSEP, ASEP, so totally symmetric simple exclusion process, and like not totally, and uh, the generalization, which uh, like I will call it uh, stochastic six vertex model, and I will study there uh, multicolor versions, and uh, again there are like so one can say, so one calls them like multi species, multi type and uh, probably multi-classes. Uh, uh, so I will define what is this. And my talk will be, uh, will have two parts. So first part will be certain peculiar property of uh, the systems, uh, this color position symmetry. So there will be no asymptotics. Uh, and then in the second part, I will discuss some uh, new ways how to apply this property uh, to asymptotic analysis of these systems. Uh, and uh, in the first part, I will formulate the statement actually in uh, like two times, uh, just the same statement, and, uh, but uh, well, first in a pictorial way, which is probably uh, easier to remember, and then a little bit more formally uh, uh, All right, so let me start with pictures, and my basic objects will be n vertical lines, which are colored by and colors, and both positions and colors are, number, uh, are numbered uh, uh, by integers from one to n. So these are positions, like from one to five, let us say, and colors are also from one to five. And they, uh, like each vertical line has one color, uh, so we have a permutation of, of size five here, and we encode, like, uh, this picture, yeah, so permutation is constructed in the following way. So this is color number one, it stands on the second position. So that means that P of one equals two. Like color number three is on the fifth position, so P of three equals five. So this, there is a permutation and there is a picture how we think about this permutation. Uh, so that's the basic object. Now I want to have some probability, some operations with these vertical lines, and so I introduce uh, crosses, so like between these two vertical lines, the like two neighboring vertical lines might have a cross, uh, and then colors start to uh, somehow the color can jump from one vertical line to another vertical line at this cross, and uh, these jumps happen with uh, certain probabilities, and uh, well, basically we have two options at each cross, so like we have like blue color here, red color here, and blue color can go either to the left or to the right, and the only thing that I need to define are probabilities, with what probability it could go left and it can go right, and these probabilities will depend uh, on two parameters, Q and X, so Q will be the main somehow quantization or like uh, asymmetric para asymmetry parameter, and X is just like some uh, inhomogeneity, um, slightly less important, and uh, the ways uh, uh, are defined in the following way. Uh, so this, so let me recall that these uh, colors, they have um, numbers, which are denoted uh, yeah, by this um, uh, inverse permutation. So these numbers, I can, co I can compare these two numbers between each other, so one of them is smaller, another, uh, another is larger, and this is also important. So if I am in the situation when uh, the smaller color on the left and the larger color on the right, then I have probability one minus x and x. This is my definition. And in the opposite case, when this one is small and this one is large, I will have one minus q times x and q times x. So these are, probab these, are uh, these probabilities uh, associated to each cross. Uh, so next, I want to consider, well, uh, these vertical lines with many crosses and certain uh, like configurations of uh, uh, these crosses. And I want to define, uh, well, just by, I guess it's in statistical physics. So if I have just one cross, I, uh, I define the weight of this picture. Uh, so I have five, two, and like with some probability five will be here, two will be here, or, or like with some probability five will, be go, will go here and two will be here, and uh, the weight of this cross will define the weight of such a picture if I have only one cross. 
And if I have several process like here, uh, then uh, I uh, just multiply the weights of these crosses. Uh, so that's the, well, the very usual definition uh, from statistical mechanics. So we have all possible configurations. Each configuration has a certain weight, and uh, configuration has a weight which is a product of weights of all crosses in this configuration. Uh, so now I can already formulate uh, this property, color position symmetry of, uh, like, uh, which I will talk about. So uh, this property tells us that the partition functions of the pictures that are uh, represented here, they are all the same. So what, what is in these pictures? So the second and third pictures are just a rotation of by like 180 degrees. So just the same picture, I just like, if we rotate uh, the head or well, something, uh, they will go one to in, into another. So, so the fact that they, they are partition functions are equal to each other, this is trivial. So non-trivial relation is between the first and the second one. So let me try to explain uh, how these two pictures are related. So first, like, uh, let's see that the positions of crosses are just at the same positions. So it's just, uh, okay, so this is the same places we have the same crosses. But like something happens with colors. So here we have uh, colors from one to five going in, like from left to right. And then we have, uh, we, we fix some permutation of these colors on, on the top. And we sum over everything that happens inside. So uh, it's, uh, uh, so, uh, so, so something inside has color scheme, but actually I sum, I sum of all possible options uh, inside, so I consider partition functions, so the only two things that are uh, fixed here is the top boundary and uh, lower boundary, and I consider uh, uh, the sum of weights of all configurations with fixed boundary conditions. So here I have fixed boundary conditions as uh, identity permutations here and some arbitrary permutations on the top, and here I reverse the directions of all vertical lines and fixed identity permutations from right to left on the, on, on the top and inverse permutation on the bottom. And the claim is that these two um, pictures, uh, when, when I sum like all possible variants that can happen inside, they will have the same weight for any choice of this permutation pi. So, but it's important that here I have identity permutations and here I have arbitrary permutation pi. So this is somehow a pictorial um, uh, statement, so I will formulate it a little bit more precisely in three minutes. Uh, so it is due to Amir, Angel, and Valko in the case when uh, all these parameters x's are equal to um, one and uh, uh, like we recently generalized it to the case when these parameters x is, uh, they can be, uh, uh, they can depend on a cross and uh, they can vary, they, they, they can vary, but like the parameter q remains uh, the same. Uh, so that's how to think about the statement in pictures. Now let me say just like, just exactly the same story, but in terms of uh, uh, permutations, uh, we, we will need all like, permutations of like, size n in this statement, but like later we will also consider permutations, you know, like infinite permutations when, when I have integers and I have bijection between integers. So this is an infinite permutation. And uh, again, for such a permutations, uh, I can uh, think about it as a configuration of uh, particles uh, on the line. So I have colors for each integer. I have one color and one position. And uh, permutation uh, gives, uh, tells me, so if I have pi of i equals j, this tells me that uh, color i is at position j. So this is one way to uh, consider, uh, like, to, 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 to take into correspondence like permutations into colors. And the inverse permutation will correspond to, to the opposite case when, I, when pi of i equals j tells us that uh, at position i, I have color j. So both these ways will be needed because as you, as you have seen, uh, both uh, like permutations and its inverse are present in the, uh, like in this property. Uh, so 
this inverse changes the roles of uh, colors and particles. And this is exactly this color uh, uh, positions and colors, and this is exactly uh, color position symmetry. So then I will need to, like a special role is played by uh, sort of by, by an ad identity permutation, which I will refer as packed initial configuration. So this is just like identity permutations, color I stands at position I. And then I need to, uh, to like say what, what is the uh, stochastic cross in this case. So this is like update in uh, exclusion process. So if I have two particles and one with like smaller color and one with larger color, so smaller color is uh, black here and, and, gray, uh, and gray color is a larger one, uh, I apply a day update for two uh, neighboring positions and with some probabilities they do not switch and with some probability uh, the particles switch. So x1 minus x. And here if they, if they go in the opposite, in the opposite uh, uh, order, so the smaller color is uh, to the right, then they also with some probability switch with some not, but this depends now at, on q times x. So um, uh, this is uh, the same definition as with uh, stochastic crosses. And I will, uh, I will have notation that this update happens at positions z and z plus one, so these two particles are at neighboring sites, z and z plus one, and uh, when I apply this update, I obtain, uh, to some configuration, I obtain a random configuration with, uh, like, with these probabilities. Uh, so this is a notation for such an update at position z, z plus one, and uh, in homogeneity parameter x, and parameter q will be uh, fixed throughout the talk, and parameter x will be allowed to vary. So that's, uh, now the definition of stochastic cross, and now the uh, color position symmetry uh, reads that if we take a finitely many such updates at positions uh, that one, that k, arbitrary positions, arbitrary in homogeneity parameters, and we apply them in some order to identity permutation, so we get uh, some random permutation as a result of this, so this is like finitely many, uh, random updates. Then we do the following. So we take the, the same updates, but we apply them in the opposite order, again to identity permutation, but, with, but in, in the opposite order. So we start with this one, then this one, and then to this one. So we get some other random permutation. And the claim is that these two random permutations are uh, related to each other in a very simple way. We just take an inverse, like a permutation inverse of uh, one of, of, one of, the, of these distributions, and we obtain another distribution. Or in other words, so like uh, for one, so if we move from Z1 to Zk, in this order we take color position permutation, and the, if we take it in the opposite order, we take position to color, uh, uh, somehow way to encode the permutations, and these two random distributions will be the same. So this is somewhat, um, somehow, in a way surprising because uh, it seems that positions and color, colors play very different roles. So that for positions we update only neighboring positions and, uh, well, it seems that the, the, in, the, in the definition of dynamics they participate in, like, in very different uh, ways. But uh, this statement shows that we just need to reverse the time and then the roles of uh, colors and positions are uh, also reversed. So this statement, uh, it's like the story is that first it was proved for TASEP, so which, which corresponds to Q equals zero in the paper by Engel, uh, Holroyd, and Tromic. Then in the ASEP case for general Q, but like without this inhomogeneity parameters in the paper, Amer, Engel, and Valko, and uh, we generalized this, for, so it included these inhomogeneity parameters which are also allowed to depend on somehow on time, so x1, xk, they, uh, these are this is arbitrary sequence of numbers. Any questions? All right. So this is so, so far. This is just some okay. Some property of this system. Uh, how to apply it to something asymptotic, probabilistic? Because well, that's what one usually studies about uh, all these processes. What happens with them uh, in the large time? limit, and probably the main point of my talk is that this statement actually helps to understand uh, these systems. So let me uh, probably uh, move to 
somehow more widely known uh, models of like standard ASAP or standard ASAP. Uh, so, well, standard means that like usually people uh, have just like two colors, which they, they, they call like uh, particles and, ho and holes. And okay, so that's uh, so, so this is um, like standard interacting particle systems. Also, sometimes uh, there are actually three colors, and in this case, it's usually called like first class particle, second class particle, and hole. So, first class particle. Uh, somehow it interacts with second class and with whole in the same way, so it doesn't distinguish between them. And all these uh, systems can be obtained from like our uh, like infinitely many color case when we somehow become partially color blind, so we can distinguish only uh, the colors, whether the color is like, for example, smaller than A, then we say that all of this is just like one color. If the color is between, if the like integer associated to uh, color is between A and B, we say that this is another color or another class. And uh, like if it's greater than B, that this is like a third class or whole. So if we do this somehow degeneration or coupling, uh, we do not lose any information. And uh, the definitions of our dynamics, uh, well, it, 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 they remain the same. So it's uh, we just like lose some uh, like we. Um, like the multicolor case, infinitely many color case, it, uh, it contains all the information about uh, these cases. Uh, so, but symmetry theorem, the statement that I had, this statement is somehow in inherently a multicolor statement. So because it involves this inverse permutation, it's not very clear uh, what is like inverse permutation if you just have like three colors or two colors. So this is a multicolor statement, uh, and the main point of this talk is that actually this it's even like if we want to study a standard uh, ASAP, it's convenient to have in mind this multicolor picture uh, yeah, because it gives some uh, somehow new results. It seems to give a new results, which it's hard to understand how to get them without this multicolored picture. Uh, so okay, so there is just like a degeneration into this like two color or three color cases, and now let me define finally. Uh, standard ASAP, so we uh, have continuous time at each uh, position z, uh, or like pair of positions uh, z, z plus one, we have independent Poisson process, like for each z there is independent uh, Poisson process, and when uh, we get a point from this process, so like it evolves, all this process evolves in time, and when we get a point in this process, we try to, uh, we try to apply, uh, well, we apply update w uh, z, z plus one that uh, I have uh, defined earlier. So this, uh, this, uh, this is uh, the definition of continuous time ASAP. Uh, and uh, then uh, we are interested what happens with this, like, with these particles, we're interested what happens with these dynamics when time goes to infinity. Uh, so this type of question, I, uh, like it's, um, it was, I think, by Need, by Harris, Liget, Rost, and others, and like there, there are many, many questions that can be asked about uh, this picture. So I will just concentrate on the results that I will actually need. Uh, so the probably the like the most ardent version is like just two colors. These are particles. These are holes, and. Uh, Initial configuration is that all particles are from the left to zero, and all holes are to the right from, uh, from zero. And uh, let me deno like uh, let me introduce these uh, random variables, which is just like occupation uh, random variable. So at position z, we either have a particle or not. So this will be either zero or one, uh, and uh, of course like. For various z, uh, they are highly dependent, and they have like very non-trivial uh, joint distribution. Uh, and they, they, they encode this process. And the question is, what like what is known about these uh, random variables as uh, time goes to infinity? So uh, quite a lot of things are known. So the exact okay, the exact result will be on the next slide. Uh, but like the type of question that I want to um, like recall is that like, what is the density of this, uh, of this particle process? So we have, like, in, in time, we have, like, these particles move from the left to the right, so they jump with, like, average speed, so they want to jump to the right with uh, probability one, 
and to the left only with probability q, so, they, so generally they go to the right with uh, the speed one minus q, and uh, then, uh, so we have a region, like a trivial region when we have density zero, we have a trivial region when we have density one, so the, like in these regions nothing has happened, but in non-trivial region, so it turns out that we have uh, a density which is a linear function, so this is, um, well, by now this is a classical result, but this is not like, not, by, by no means a trivial result, uh, but uh, like in the limit, so this point is one minus q times t, this is like minus one minus q times t, and the linear uh, density uh, between them. Sorry? So the, well, one dimension, this is only integers. Uh, okay, this is, uh, well, this exact number is q equals one, one over two, I guess. Yeah, so it's one over two and then scaled by time. So this point is one minus q and this one minus q. But like the exact formula for this function is like this. So in, for, for general q, q case. Uh, so here is the, uh, this statement about density. Uh, actually there are two statements and they are like the proofs in this uh, Angel Veras and Benassi Fouquet uh, papers, so which are independently and simultaneously, uh, I, as far as I understand, were, were published in uh, 1997. Uh, so we are interested in these occupation variables. And uh, we need to assume something about like a point where we look uh, for this occupation variable. And uh, we assume that it, it grows linearly. Uh, so this, uh, this constant is y. And if y is large, then it's 0. If y is small, then it's uh, 1. And in between this uh, linear function. So we, uh, the probability to find uh, like the, f the first correlation function in the limit will be uh, given by this expression. But then I, will, I also need to, to uh, know what happens if I look for several neighboring sites. So I, I take this position m of t and also have uh, m of t plus i, so some finitely many positions nearby. And the statement is that actually the, 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 these uh, equation variables, they become independent. So we have IID Bernoulli process uh, for like finitely, uh, for, for the window of finite length. Uh, so this is called like local equilibrium uh, in uh, ASAP. And I need it only for like very particular and probably the simplest uh, initial conditions. All right, so how, uh, the, how uh, this can be related to this multicolor statement? Uh, let me start with an example which we, with that can be easily done by other methods, and like this example basically is uh, due to Ferrari and Kipnis, just to illustrate uh, the simplest uh, application of color position symmetry. Uh, so now I assume that I have three colors, which means I have particles, first class particles, second class particles, and holes. And let us start with a situation when I have just like one second class particle. So just like one second class particle, L equals zero. So first class particles go to the right, holes go to, to the left, but what happens with this unique second class particle? This is not very trivial. Uh, well, if you just like see this for the first time, because it can go to the right, it can go to the left. Uh, and the result is that actually it, uh, it is uniform on the segment uh, um, minus one minus QT, one minus QT. So it, it, it has like a large uh, like variety of options what can happen with it. So it can go to the right with large speed and can go to the left with large speed. And uh, how to prove this? Uh, with the use of symmetry the theorem, uh, one can see this in the following way. So we apply, uh, so we have continuous ASAP for multi-species model, multi-color model, and the question is where is the, car, the particle of color zero is given by, okay, by this event. That permutation of zero is less than x. So this is the event that governs what happens with this second class particle. Because we made a coupling, everything else, like our packed initial condition, is coupled and gives exactly this initial condition. First class particle to the left, holes to the right, and just one second class particle. And this event is exactly what we, uh, what we are interested in, the position of second class particle after time t. And what, what happens with the right uh, hand side of uh, our color position symmetry? So we need to make like reverse of time, but it's easy to see that this is just the same process if we have like an IID continuous ASAP. 
And we need to look at the probability that position to call at zero is less than x. But this is a, like a very different event. This is the event that we have at zero a particle of color less than x. So it seems that these two quantities are not very much related, but like it's immediately, uh, well, the theorem gives us this equality. And this event, so this event is about three color system. So this is like a second class particle, holes and first class particles. And this event is just about two colors. So here we're interested whether the color is less than x or greater than x. So this right hand side is immediately given by the theorem from the previous slide, by the first correlation function of, uh, of standard ASAP. So the, uh, some quantity related to uh, like three color ASAP is immediately related to the quantity which depends only on two colors and about it everything is, well, not everything, but like what we need is known. And uh, it's immediate that uh, the limit from the previous slide, uh, the limit is just like this density function. Like I need like to subtract minus x because this will be step initial conditions shifted to uh, by x and this will be density at minus x. So this particular example can be done by another very simple argument uh, uh, by Ferrari and Kipnis. Uh, this is just an illustration. But now we can play with this a little bit more uh, and to produce a little bit uh, less uh, simple results, but just by the same uh, logic. So let's say that we have several second class particles for, and like just a simulation. So if, we, if I have L equals three, I have three second class particles and I look what happens with the largest of, uh, of, uh, with the largest second class particle. So it will have uh, this distribution. So it, it is more likely that it, it goes to the right than to the left. Uh, and uh, one can like write the formula in general. So if I have several second class particles, so second class particles, uh, they uh, do not switch uh, order between, between themselves. So if I have a largest second class particle, it always remains the largest. And this, large, this largest second class particles will be further to the right and the smallest will be further to the left. And there is some explicit formula how to, um, how, what is the limiting distributions. And the proof, basically I already told you the, the proof of this result just in the case of like one second class particle. So we look to uh, this probability uh, and we also use the second part of this statement about IID Bernoulli distribution. There, then it immediately gives, so one can see that the, here is something like from binomial distributions. This is exactly because I have IID uh, local equilibrium for standard ASAP. And uh, in the case when K equals one, so for the smallest, for the smallest particle, it was also proved in uh, like a, also in a recent paper by Coastal Science and Cell. Uh, but so far so good, but like one can see that I always should have something like step initial conditions. So the smallest, like first class particles here, second class here, holes here. And because my statement all starts from my identity permutation. So where, what can I say about some other cases? But in fact, actually I can say something. Uh, so let's go to the situation, which is almost as uh, the one that I described, but now I have first class particles here, then second class particle, again first class particle and holes. So I just switched the order of like uh, one first class particle and one second class particle are switched in the initial conditions. And I have the same questions, what happens with the second class particle, with the unique second class particle in this picture? So it's just like, just like, a, like a very uh, small perturbation, just like uh, two particles switch positions, but it turns out that asymptotic behavior feels this. And uh, this is the answer. This is the answer. So the first, the second, this second class particle in ASAP will have this limiting distribution. <coughs> so this is the limiting distribution that was before, uniform distribution. And I have some additional contribution. So this particle is more likely a bit on the, le on the left compared to uh, like Ferrari Kipnis case rather than uh, like B to the right of zero. So how to prove this with color position symmetry. It's again, just like one more very simple trick. We first apply deterministic update to these two positions, zero, minus one and zero, and then we start IID process. 
And then it becomes important that I have the reversal of time in my uh, abstract theorem, because when I look to the right-hand side, I first need to do IID process, and then in the end, I need to do this uh, uh, deterministic swap between minus one and zero. And what, 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 what I get here is this IID Bernoulli from standard ASAP, plus this deterministic swap that I have to introduce because of the change of initial conditions. Uh, so this is basically uh, well, complete proof in a, in, in a way uh, of this result, and I don't know how to get this result by uh, like any other uh, standard uh, techniques in the, for general Q. Uh, so, but like the proof with the, this multi-color statement is very easy and doesn't require basically any. Uh, so I, I already told you during uh, 40 minutes talk uh, the proof of this uh, result. So note that this distribution depends on like, this like, very small local perturbation of initial conditions. It also depends on uh, Q in a substantial way. So because for TASEP and ASEP, it's quite, for quite many quantities, it's often the case that uh, they just have the same limited object, just like to prove things for ASAP are much harder. Uh, but here, the answer also depends. So these types of questions, they depend on uh, Q in a substantial way. Uh, in the limit, we get something that substantially depends on Q. Uh, so, and like a general statement that can be proved by using this philosophy is that if we have step initial conditions outside of minus L, L, so first class particles here, holes here, and then here we can have arbitrary collections of first class particles, second class particles, and holes, <laughs> and uh, we, uh, we can describe the position of uh, any second class particle, the, like any one second class particle uh, in the limit as time goes to infinity. And the receipt, so I haven't formulated like this, like complete receipt, but the receipt is that just we have IID Bernoulli and then apply uh, these deterministic swaps, uh, deterministic updates, uh, which correspond to the initial conditions. Uh, so that's uh, one uh, application of color position symmetry. So let me also give another one. Uh, it will have like a similar flavor, uh, but like uh, the type of asymptotic, uh, like the objects that appear asymptotics will be somewhat different. So assume that I have, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, so here I have TASEP, so Q equals zero. And I, again, for, I create some, some non-trivial initial conditions. So I have first class particles, which starts from like minus L, and also I have first class particles from one to L. And I have a unique second class particle at zero and everything else are holes. And now, I w so if L is fixed, this is the case that I had before. So I have second class particles and some finite perturbation of initial conditions. But now I want to allow L de to depend on time. And then, uh, so in uh, like TASEP and ASEP, so this, this, is, this is called shock. So we have uh, like this distance is quite large, but then this first particle at some point uh, becomes closer, closer, and finally uh, catches this particle. And at this point, uh, like uh, appears like a, yeah. So this is called shock. I think it's quite a good name. So like one wave uh, uh, reaches the uh, the other one that is generated by this uh, first collection of particles. So that's what happens for a large L. And now the question is, uh, what happens with this second class particle, which sometimes uh, like, can be rephrased as like, what happens, where, where exactly is the position of uh, the shock? Uh, so again, so this is this, the, the question about three colors. So I have two, second class particle, first class particle, and hole. And uh, color position symmetry gives uh, the statement that relates the position of this second class particle. So on the left, I have just like, probability that the, this position second, of second class particle is less than x, uh, this, pro, this probability uh, is just uh, uh, equals to, to probability that certain interval in standard TASEP, so this is the number of particles in interval between minus x minus L and minus x plus L, so this interval of length to L plus 1 contains more than L plus 1 particle. So some, some, some uh, observable of this system, namely observable is the distribution of this second class particle, 
has exactly like exact relation with some quantity related just to standard TASEP. And because like standard TASEP, so there are many available tools uh, to study it, uh, these exact statements are somehow very useful because all these like exact results can be immediately translated to this new to this new type of questions uh, that turn out to be related to just like to standard TASEP or standard ASAP. So this is the exact relation, and in order to um, from related asymptotic results, so I'm interested in the situation, like just like one specific uh, uh, case when this L grows as uh, time to the power two thirds uh, with some constant. So L time grows to infinity, L grows to infinity, but of the scale two thirds. Uh, then the position of second class particle, so the position of second class particles, it, it also has a scale t to the power two thirds, and the limited distribution. Uh, will be uh, the difference of two um, sections of a reprocess. Uh, so this is the exact uh, statement. And it appears just from the uh, known asymptotic results of the theorem of uh, Johansson, essentially, that uh, a reprocess appears as a fluctuations of a height function uh, for a standard TASEP. So this, like, non-trivial results, like it was like we, which require determinate, like uh, determinant formulas and uh, like all these computations. So it can be just like translated because of the exact relation. It can be just like translated to the result about this second class particle uh, in the shock in, in some uh, particular uh, limit. Uh, so this is just like examples of these applications. Uh, so there, there are some other ones, uh, but my main goal here was just like to well to formulate these abstract statements for multi uh, multi color process and to try to convince you that even like if one studies like uh, usual TASEP, usual uh, ASEP, uh, and like two color three color situations, it's uh, it's it's useful to have in mind this multi color case as well because it's it's hard for me to understand how one can get this statement without like this multicolor, so there, there should be a proof. So it's not like a miracle, there should be a proof, but how to formulate it, how to know that this statement exists and then how to prove this, this is all very, I, I guess this is all quite non-trivial uh, if like one just uh, works with uh, second class particles and uh, first class particles and holes and without this multicolor statement. So I guess the lunch is soon, so I will stop here.